Hello viewers, in this video I will discuss about the pretended period or the neonate's mouth. Now this period refers to the time between birth and eruption of first deciduous tooth in the oral cavity which usually takes place around 6 to 6 and a half months of age. In a neonate, the edentulous alveolar arches are called gum pads which are firm pink structures. The upper gum pad is horseshoe shaped while the lower gum pad is U shaped. Each gum pad is divided into 10 segments by transverse grooves which represent the future deciduous teeth. And from these grooves, the one between the deciduous canine and the deciduous first molar is prominent and is called the lateral sulcus. Gingival groove separates the upper gum pad from the palate and the lower gum pad from the floor of mouth. The dental groove originates from the incisive papilla region and extends backward to touch the gingival groove in canine region and ends laterally in the molar region. Now let's have a look at the relationship between the upper and lower gum pads. Firstly note that the mandibular gum pad is inverted in the anterior portion labially. Therefore at rest both these gum pads are separated by tongue because of the infantile swallow pattern. The lower jaw is situated posteriorly with overjet all around. The only contact seen is at the lateral sulcus. Sometimes an infant may be born with teeth which are precociously erupted. If the teeth emerge before the first three months of life, they are called premature teeth. Those present at birth are called natal teeth while those erupting from birth to 30 days that is in the neonatal period are designated as neonatal teeth. Almost 90% of these are from the primary dentition with 85% being the deciduous mandibular central incisors, while 10% are supernumerary calcified structures called pre-deciduous teeth. And remember, the incidence of natal teeth is more frequent than neonatal teeth. These premature teeth tend to cause ulceration on the ventral surface of tongue or even on the inner aspect of lower lip. This is called the Gigafetti syndrome. These structures are usually not extracted and are preserved owing to the low vitamin K levels in the infant. If any discomfort is caused to the mother, these teeth are either trimmed down or capped with composite. Now let's have a look at the self-correcting anomalies seen in the pre-dented period. The retognathic mandible corrects with the differential and forward growth. The anterior open bite corrects with the eruption of primary incisors. And the infantile swallow pattern corrects during the first year of life with introduction of solid foods in diet. So that was all about the pre-dented period. In case you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe.